This video is sponsored by Dibley Create. More about them later in the video. I heard it once said that everyone has the same 24 hours in a day. It's not about having time, it's about making time. But what do you do when you have a job, relationships, miscellaneous responsibilities, and are doing your best to balance life as an author? Something's gotta give, right? Especially if you want to get the most out of your time as an author, whether full-time or part-time. AI is ubiquitous. It seems to be everywhere in everything that everybody's talking about. Yet some still have some reservations and I totally get it. The hype beasts on YouTube aren't helping anything with the get rich quick with artificial intelligence. Make $15,000 per month if you start using artificial intelligence. Then you also have <laughs> extreme detractors of artificial intelligence that just believe it's going to be some Skynet type situation of the Terminator taking over the world. There truly is a middle ground here, folks. I started dabbling with generative AI around 2021 when I ran a case study on Amazon ads and I used this generative AI to do some ad copy for me. Now, the results were rather inconclusive. It didn't get any worse and it didn't really get any better, but it did lead me to believe at least I saved some time in the process of putting together some ad copy for an ad campaign. Over the past year, I've leaned heavily into generative AI to streamline my workflow. In fact, the past six months, I've worked closely with Dibley Create as a sponsor, and as you might have noticed at the beginning of this video. My next foray into the world of artificial intelligence was when I was up late one night. And I fed ChatGPT my first ever prompt, and it was just working out some fiction work. And I wanted to see what it would bring back. You know, I wasn't wanting it to write anything for me, just more so to prompt me. And it was kind of crazy. It was like a friendly conversation with someone who shared a common interest. And I was able to bounce some ideas off of AI and AI would shoot it back to me. I was like, no, 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 I don't want it like that. I want it like this. And it was a lot of fun. And I found myself just really starting to embrace more of what does artificial intelligence bring to me as an author? What can it do to enhance what I already do? After that, I was inspired. I was encouraged. I'm thinking to myself, you know what? What else can I be able to do in my business that I could leverage artificial intelligence to where I can cut back on some of the time that I'm putting into my business? That way I could spend more time doing some fun things. So I actually started creating some lists for low content books like puzzle books, activity books, you know, you name it. I really was going into it all in thinking, okay, what can I do? What can AI do to replace what I'd normally spend countless hours doing? And I believe I was successful in that aspect. So it got me to thinking, what are other things that I do in my business as an author and video creator that I could offload and not diminish my creative value? I mean, think about it, video descriptions, keywords, video shorts, rewriting, grammar, of course, grammar checking, that's a big thing. Title generation, yeah, that helps out. It's also really good for an info repository, though it's organized chaos in some instances. The 
biggest issue with using free chat GBT, it's not specifically built to accommodate authors for the most part. Enter Dibley Create. Dibley Create is an innovative platform designed to assist authors in crafting textual content with ease, making it the perfect tool for busy authors. The platform offers a wide range of features tailored to streamline the creative process. Among the sweet features is Kip, an AI chatbot that guides users through the content creation process and assists with various aspects of writing and business. Kip's user-friendly interface and helpful prompts provide authors with the support they need to quickly and efficiently create captivating content. Also, Dibley Create has a comprehensive prompt library to easily collaborate with AI. The library enhances the brainstorming and content generation process by providing a wealth of prompts that cater to a variety of writing styles and genres. Beyond these features, Dibley Create is actively working on expanding options to all account holders, making it the one-stop shop for all authors' needs. Get a seven-day free trial of the Dibley Create professional plan when you visit my affiliate link at dailinks.com slash dibleycreate. Take it for a spin. You just might surprise yourself. So I produced a 45-minute presentation for Lulu a while back called YouTube Domination. Knowing I didn't have much time to produce the presentation, I absolutely needed a little help. And that's where I leaned on Dibley Create because I had them, first of all, brainstorm some ideas with me to where I could kind of figure out, okay, what do I need to do for this presentation? How much do I need to put into this? And it really went granular, gave me a great outline and a couple of prompts along the way anytime I got stuck. And so when that outline came along, I was able to kind of pick and choose some of the areas that I liked, some of the things I disliked, and I was able to swap those things out. And I was able to put together, I think it was roughly about four to 6,000 words for the presentation in order to go for a full 45 minutes. It was a lot of work, not gonna lie, and it was made a lot easier by leaning a lot on Dibley Create. And when I say Dibley Create, by the way, that means that I'm utilizing artificial intelligence, of course. I wrote a book in seven days using my iPhone 7 and Dibley Create. Now this is a testament to their accessibility because I was able to use it on this rather antiquated iPhone. It shows you just how well Dibley Create really works. Now what Kip did, their AI assistant, was created the outline for that book that I was able to work with. So it gave me the framework that I needed in order to write a pretty good book within the course of a week. I was able to adjust like a few key points, kind of like and I previously had said with the Lulu presentation. So it was just going through, figuring out the outline, really sorting it out and getting it down to the nitty gritty. And then from there, I just filled in the blanks. I was also able to get other things, including the description generated. So as soon as I was done writing the content, what Kip was able to do is go through, read what I had written, and then put together a description that was really nice for it. And also it gave me some title suggestions. And just to kind of be certain that I was on the right track, I had it summarize the whole content for me. So that way it really made sense when I looked at it from a bird's eye view. Feeling rather hyped up about my success with writing a book in seven days with my iPhone 7 and Dibley Create, I decided I'd double down and I wrote a book in 24 hours using Dibley Create. Well, this time around, I didn't use the iPhone 7 because it's rather impractical, especially for how small the screen is. I mean, it's, it's not very big at all. The big thing was I had to outline outline and outline some more. This was a ton of prep in advance. And yes, I did dip into using outlining with Dibley Create in this particular instance, but I went in and I tweaked a lot of those elements and I broke them down into finer points. So it was very granular. When, when I was able to go and write, I wanted to give it to where I could write nonstop. And when I mean nonstop, that means I have everything outlined just right and then if I ran into any issues, I could get immediate answers from Kip when I needed it. So that means I could just go over bottom right hand corner of the screen, click on that, pop it up, and it was all good to go. I was also able to get things like before, which includes the description generated, the title suggestions, and summary, of course. So, 
what does Dibley Create cooking up right now? Well, so far I know they have Export V2 coming up here. Right now they have Export available and you can do it in a number of different docs, but you couldn't do it with EPUB originally. And they've been working tirelessly at trying to make this the best possible so it's not buggy and crashing for the folks that are investing their money in this. And also, I'm excited to say Image Generator is on the horizon. I've played a little bit with it so far and it is really freaking cool. I've got it here on the screen. You can see exactly what I've been playing around with. It is nice. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel for more details about that. We can all agree that AI can't replace some of the things in our lives, like spending time with family, working out, playing with our pets, doing household chores, and well, so much more. You get the idea, but it can help cut back on busy work so you can focus more time on writing and producing content or do more things in your personal life instead. Also, AI helps cut spending on various outsourced tasks. No, no one's being put out of a job. I'll still hire a professional human editor or an experienced professional cover designer. I'll probably still lean on my peers to audit my book descriptions or ad copy. There are some aspects to business that still require human interaction or human intervention in some instances. And I challenge you to try out AI for at least one task that you don't like doing or is your least favorite. Whether you need a little help with keyword and niche research or book descriptions or grammar correction or social media post generation. The only limitations you have are what you impose on yourself. And once you figure out what AI can assist with, you'll reclaim time that was otherwise lost on some aspects of your business. Find out 10 ways to 10X your self-publishing business using AI today in this very next video. I have it right here in the bottom right-hand corner. And if you want to, YouTube thinks you should check out this other video up here. I'll see you in the next video.